Moving can be a strange experience. As we look to the future and all that this move represents, it's caused me to be reflective, to look back at all the lessons and experiences that God has used and how those lessons propel us into the future. Sometimes in life we start out on a career path that makes perfect sense to us, but God has other plans. That's exactly what happened to me. I was pursuing international banking, and then I took a trip down to Honduras that completely redirected my life. I, re I remember walking into this cancer treatment facility for children. and Try to picture 90 children in this little small house with dirt floors and very little food, uh, no pain relievers. It's the first time in my life that I was really exposed to suffering kids. And I remember getting on that airplane coming home and uh, just, I couldn't get the images of these kids out of my mind. And I came home after some time and I talked to my wife, Lynn, and I just said, I, you know, I think God's uh, moving in my heart to quit my job. Both Lynn and I knew that that was gonna be an incredible faith step if we did that, but we did. And I remember shortly after starting CHF, I got a phone call from that director again down in Honduras. And he shared with me they just got in these seven kids that all had cancer. And if they didn't find this one particular cancer drug, that they were gonna die. And so I said I would try to see what I could do. And I remember hanging up the phone. And at that very moment, the phone rang again. And there was a gentleman on the other end that said, we've got this very unusual donation, the cancer drug. And it was the exact drug that this, uh, these kids needed. And this was a huge donation. We were able to distribute it to more than 20 countries around the world, serving thousands of kids. And as I look back on that experience, it did so much to expand my faith. And it really has become the benchmark of what CHF has become over the years seeking to trust God for his provision and just seeing what he does with that. It is so humbling to be standing in this building today. When I think back over the last 20 years, God has done some amazing things. <laughs> I can remember a time when my wife Lynn and I, we stored medicines and supplies in our garage. I remember our first employee and we worked out of a facility that was not bigger than a three-car garage. And our first toy wrap event consisted of nothing more than two or three six-foot tables and mainly family volunteers. And now here we are today, 15,000 volunteers serving us at our distribution centers in Los Angeles, Chicago, and San Antonio. Our food packs are hand-delivered in homes through Mercy Networks in 15 countries worldwide. We've distributed more than 150 million pounds of food and 110 million toys to children and families in 35 U.S. states and 72 countries. We're now known as one of America's most cost-effective charities. 99% of total contributions go directly to programs helping the poor. Altogether, our donors have given about $1 billion worth of aid to help children in need. It's amazing to me that God has used Children's Hunger Fund as a channel of hope and help for millions of children. And yet, sometimes it seems like we're only scratching the surface. Poverty is an immense problem, and hunger is so much bigger than this warehouse. If we were to fill it up today, it's still not enough. There are still so many children who need our help. So here we are, at the beginning of a new phase. Clearly there's a lot of work to be done, and I know it's not gonna be easy, but I'm not worried. I've learned that in God's economy, our need to fill this warehouse again and again is no more significant than a poor mother's need to provide a meal for her child. Years ago, I took a trip down to El Salvador with my son Justin, who was 10 years old at the time. We visited several villages. We went to this one village where families had built cardboard houses on top of the trash. And there was a family we visited with a mom and six children. And this family had a little girl that was taken to Justin. And I remember she took him around the back of the house and showed him the straw mat that she slept on at night. And then she noticed a chicken. And when she went over the chicken and she picked up this egg, and she said, you know what this is? 
And Justin and I looked at each other and we said, yeah, it's an egg. Well, clearly we were missing the point because she went on, she said, you know what this means? This means that our family gets to eat today. And at that moment, Justin and I were struck with the reality of this family and how every day they had to struggle for their next meal. And now every time I see an egg, I'm reminded of this little girl and her faith and her total dependency on God and how all of us at Children's Hunger Fund, we need to do the same. The truth is, we are positioned to do so much more into the future. In the coming years, I hope to see our food pack program expanded to reach the homes of many more children and families. I also want to see our Mercy Network model repeated in more cities across the United States and more countries around the world so that local churches will be equipped to meet the desperate needs in their communities. And more than this, I hope to impact our own kids, the next generation, to courageously encounter poverty, to come face to face with the needs they see in the world around them and respond to those needs in a positive way. My poverty encounter in Honduras changed my life forever. It set me on a course to impact the lives of children in ways I never dreamed possible. And yet there's so much more to be done. We'll continue to trust God for the vision and we'll follow his leading. And as we do, I believe he'll provide the people, the volunteers, and the resources needed to provide food and care for suffering children. Mm -hmm.